It's all connected. 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 Put your whatever. Um, <laughs> so welcome to the It's All Connected show. Well, if you want to lose it all, you can take it to the bank. Yeah, there you go. And it's gone. Um, and anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the It's All Connected show with Circle and Grimner and myself. And on this Monday, September 21st, 2020, the last day of summer. Yeah, Ooh. I know, I know. You feel like summer where you are? No, well, today did. We had sunshine today, and we made a fire in the garden, and it was kind of warm, but um, and the summers are getting colder and colder. A fire or the in mornings. The, a fire in the garden. Yeah, in the fire pit, though. Oh, right. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah. Did you have uh, winter or fall or summer today? Um, It's going to be 84 later on, according to the thing, the, the, the weathered orc. Uh, so... Right. Uh, is that summer? And 84 for normal people is? For normal? Half minus 30, so that's like. I don't know, 28 or something. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, if you're not, welcome to all the chatter or uh, listeners and chatters out there. If you're not here in the chat on reallibertymedia.com, or rlmradio.xyz, head on over, jump into the chat, and uh, you'll have a good time or a bad time, depending on who you are and the way you feel about things. <laughs> 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 and anyway, uh, this is this is episode 10 of the It's All Connected program, um, episode 3 or 4 with Circle, um, and, and we, this, this particular episode is entitled, Voting Works Perfectly. But yes. for who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, and you know it's a it's a it's a uh, good topic for this period of time within the U.S. of A. Anyhow, uh, are you guys having elections over there this year? I don't know. We should though, shouldn't we? Uh, you don't. No, you, we shouldn't. We I, just. I don't, I don't know. I, no. I don't know what your system is. What is your system? Every four every four year. Yeah, well, well, but I, I think we just had one. Are, are you a republic, a democracy? A uh, we're a oligarchy? democratic monarch. A democratic we're monarchy. Monarchy. Yeah. So does that mean which you is get, which is fun though, right? Th- does that mean no matter get, what you put in front of monarchy, you're just still going to be a monarchy? Aren't d- you? Does that mean you get to vote for the monarch? No. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. that, no, no. That that means that we have separated state and government. Okay, so if there's a, uh, like, if the government says we want to do this, and the, the monarch can she or he uh, override uh, the, yes. the, so so it's it's still well, the monarch. it's the other way around. She approves. Everything that goes from in the Danish parliament, if you have something that you want to be treated within the government, first of all, everything has three hearings. But before it enters the first hearing, it goes through a a queen round where she looks it through and pass it on. But they keep saying, oh, she doesn't really. It's just a pro forma. She doesn't interfere with politics, but she is the uh, head of state. But, yeah, she, she still has the hammer. That if yeah. she if she wants to use it, she can. Yes, we are on the um, fifth version of the Danish Constitution, uh, latest one being from 1953. And for each version since the original, they put more and more power back with the monarch. Of course. Uh, so, yeah. what what is the name of your monarch? That's a Queen Margaret the Second. Ah. And she is the first queen of Denmark, which isn't wasn't a married a woman married to the king. That was what we changed in 1953. So how did she get to become? Well, she was she was the firstborn, right? 
But before 1953, it was the firstborn son who would inherit the throne. Uh, she was the firstborn, and then she got a little brother that nobody liked. And everybody loved her. So they did a constitutional change. They asked the entire uh, population of Denmark in 1953 if they would vote for changing the constitution so that a woman, a queen, could now inherit the throne. Okay. Well, cool, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, uh, they also snuck in a whole bunch of other stuff in that 1953. So. Oh, don't they always, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, here, here in the U.S., um, whether people realize it or not, um, going all the way back to George Washington to the first supposed uh, U.S. president, um, they are all connected. They, there is bloodlines and connections going all the way back. Uh, and, and, you know, up until now, up until... The Danish queen is the uh, uh, queen with the, uh, or the one person on, in the world with the longest uh, known bloodline and pure bloodline, which means she's pretty inbred, though, right? Yeah, they all are. They all are. And, yeah. and I, I don't know how inbred the uh, U.S. presidents are, but they act inbred. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Flash says uh, Martin Van Buren was not part of it. He, he was... Uh, of course, you don't hear much about him, Van Buren. He's he's kind of one of the forgotten presidents. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so uh, but voting. But when we do vote in Denmark, we vote for a parliament of 179 seats. And we how, are is, a, how one is that? House. We have one house, not two houses. We have one house. How with 179 uh, seats. How how is that number decided? That's the same number always, 179, and you devote the ones who get the most votes gets the most seats. But it is from commute for, um, like when you do, like in states, but here it's in regions. So every region has a certain amount of seats that they uh, divide uh, throughout from the votes. So in, but in, we have uh, four of the seats of the 179, two of them belong to Greenland and the other two belong to the Faroe Islands. So the Danish people vote for the 175. Okay. Okay. So Right it, now, it, I think there are 16 different parties in our government. 16 parties? Yeah, something like that, I that's, think. That's, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's better than two, for sure. Um, <laughs> anyway, so you, you don't have states within the, – there's no – no, we have cities and municipals and regions. Regions, okay. Yes. And, of course, there are some local government, uh, both in cities and uh, municipals and regions, but mainly it's centralized. And are there counties? We used to, but in early 2000s or so, they took away some layers of the hierarchy of parliament. Oh. Good. To make it flatter, so they took out like counties and and stuff like that to make it more flat. All right. Yeah, because here in the U.S. of A, you have your city with a city government, and you have a county with a county government, and you have your state with a state government, and then then you have your federal crap. Um, yeah. So you got all these different things, and a lot of like. Uh, the, the laws that are passed for each individual grouping um, contradict the, the other ones. So yes. the, the city can make a rule that contradicts what the state says. Uh, and well, here only the, the uh, government can make laws. Well, they're all so governments. The, they're the all state, governments. The, the, a city, little city official government, they do budgets. They okay. don't do laws. Okay. We don't have like one, there's nothing in this part of Denmark that's illegal that isn't anywhere else. Okay, so when you, when you, if you did, uh, when it went out to vote on a particular uh, person, because you don't vote for laws, right? No. It's, um, well, see, we have in the Danish constitution, we have a principle of sovereignty. And whenever we make a, we want to make a law that uh, imposes on that principle of sovereignty, you have to ask the people. 
And who does the sovereignty the apply to? To the Danish people. So each of you is a sovereign? Uh, no. The Danish state, right? Right. They're the sovereign, and you are yeah. the subjects of that sovereign. Yes. You cannot, you cannot pass laws that will hollow out the national uh, sovereignty without asking the people of Denmark. And if we do that, if we make a change to the Constitution, it has to be by 50% of all eligible voters not just of those who participated. Okay, well, what if, okay, like here, I don't think 50% of the eligible voters even vote. No. So so nothing would happen then, right? I mean, if you don't get a 50% turnout, then you're never going to get your 50% override of the sovereignty rule. No. So that law would just go null and void. They, they, they couldn't do it if it if it uh, conflicts the sovereignty. Last time we said no to one of those things was in '92 with the uh, 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 Treaty of the European Union, right? Right. Okay. And we said no to that in '92, and then they came back and asked us again in '93, where they had taken out the the European Police, the European um, Monetary Union, the Euro Common or you know Common European Borders and um, um, uh, common European uh, military. So what was so those left? four Just... points are we exempt from because we didn't want to enter that. as, And that so... would have been a violation of the sovereignty principle. So what's left? Just trade? Yeah. Okay. So you have cross-border <laughs> free trade. Yeah. Okay. Which is why when the EU says, well, now every nation has to take so many immigrants, it doesn't apply to Denmark. Okay, but do you, have, you do have a lot of immigrants, don't you? Let's see, a lot. What is a lot? I don't know, 10%? Uh, I don't even think so, but something like that. Okay. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> yeah, oh, you know, this is, uh, I, I guess the uh, the... the equivalent here in the U.S. I mean, uh, the president is uh, not a monarch, but they are basically treated like one. Uh, is he head of state? He, he he is. Okay, yeah. Head of state, head of the military, um, chief cook and bottle washer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so anyway, uh, the, this uh, topic we have here, uh, voting works, but for who? Or yeah. what, was, what was it? Voting works perfectly, but for who? Um, <laughs> and because they have the, this thing going on now, you know, because of all the uh, Corona bullshit. Um, uh, they so they've uh, they're, they they got all these people pushing for these mail in ballots, which mm -hmm. apparently, and I, I don't really understand it. Um, th there's also these things called absentee ballots where you can request a, a ballot by mail and not, you know, be the one of the people that doesn't go down to the, the little thing where you pull the lever or punch the hole or whatever. Um, mm. And that's, that's been a system for a long time, um, you know, and they use it for, you know, like, military people that are overseas or whatever. Mm. Um, but now they have something else, and it's I don't, I don't really understand what it is. It's this mail-in voting and I don't think every state has that. Some states have it and some don't. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure yeah. here in, in New Mexico there's no uh, – you have to do go absentee if you want to do mail-in. What I find fascinating with the American elections, though, right, mm -hmm. is that you have, you campaign – how long is the election period? Oh, forever. I, I don't know. It's, it's like, like years? It, it starts as soon as one guy's elected. They start campaigning for the next one. Because here it's like you can only do it for three weeks. That's great. That would be terrific. So they have like a, you can't do it beyond that. It's like a three week thing, or three or six weeks. I forget now, but it's a fixed period, and you can't do it beyond that. That's why you campaign. But do you, do you have the the people that are probably? I mean, do they say I'm going to be running in the next election, whatever that is? No, you can't, you can't do that. You don't talk about elections, and you don't do that without when you're not in that period. An election starts when the when the sitting government says we say election will be, and then they usually say three weeks or four weeks ahead. Oh, cool. 
great. That's and great. And then it's calculated that from this and this date, you can hang up posters, you can do election meetings, you can have election debates, you can all this, and then it ends when the election is over. Oh, yeah, see, it's, here it's, it's continuous. I, I mean, there's always election crap going on. Uh, whether it's the the every four years for president, uh, six years for senate, the two years for representatives, uh, there's always people out there, you know, pushing. Oh, you make me the guy, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you everything you ever wanted to have, and and we're gonna get those people you don't like and stop them from doing things you don't want them to, um, which is of course and, nonsense because uh, they've been promising the same things for a hundred years. Uh, you know, changing of faces, obviously, yeah. uh, and names, but uh, but but the promises so remain the, the same. So what you're saying, Grimnir, is that in the middle of an election campaign, they suddenly change the rules on how you can vote? Well, this time, this time around they did, apparently, because, you know, Corona's this big, bad, evil boogeyman that's coming out to get you, and you don't want to go out there and deal with that. You want to be safe and secure and hiding in your home, and here's a piece of paper that you can write something on and, and send it in, and you they, you could be sure that'll be safe and secure, because elections never get hacked, right? Um. <laughs> oh, I don't so, know how you so, would but, but that, that has never been a thing. piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, that, that has never been a thing before. So the, the, in this election cycle, which... I don't even really exactly understand what that means, but um, in this election but cycle... But are you like in big groups when you vote or something over there? Well, they have polling. The last time they I have... went voting, you know, it's been many years, I agree, but the last time I went voting, you stood in a line with, you know, two feet apart, even though it wasn't any corona, and you stood nicely in a line, and you came in... A person gave you a, your ballot when you said your address, and you went into a small booth with nobody else around you, and you put an X, and then you drop that in a box and leave. Yeah, that's 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 basically how it how it how it works. That's um, the most Corona safe thing you can ever do. I <laughs> would I, I would certainly think so. I I mean, uh, you know, but uh, Corona Corona is very finicky, uh, which you may notice. Like uh -oh. uh, if if you if you go to a place that's having a part <laughs> a party or something, Corona will attack you. But if Until you, no, after twenty-two, what? not before ten o'clock, Grimnir. It only attacks you after ten o'clock. No, no. Here it, it doesn't matter what time of day it is. You oh, you yes. can you can be out on a boat on the water miles from anybody and uh, alone out there, and Corona will find you. But if you're even before ten o'clock, are you? Sure? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Because the Danish Corona only attacks after ten o'clock. See, you know, it's it's uh, you have, you have your own you have a sovereign <laughs> Corona over there. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> you know, and over here, if you're if, like I said, if you're doing something, you could be out fishing in a, in a river alone by yourself. And Does it also attack people who sit down? It well, no, no, it only attacks you when you're standing up. Like yes, you, right. Okay, if, okay, because that's if, the same as here. Yeah, if you walk into a restaurant. Um, and the you minute have, you're standing and walking. Yeah, you have to have your mask on be, while you walk into the restaurant. But as soon as you sit down, the corona forgets all about you. Yeah, <laughs> unless it's but, in the club. But if you if you go you go to a, a big you know Black Lives Matter protest, street riot, or uh, apparently an RBG gathering, uh, which is uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, which you may or may not know, was a Supreme Court justice that just died. But couldn't you just couldn't America threaten the coronavirus with war if they attack during your election and you could just have a normal election? Well, you know, I think I think Trump actually did. He said, oh. "This is an invisible enemy, and we are going to get it, and we are going to win." Now I don't. We got drones, damn it! We got drones. Yeah, we'll, we'll drone the corona. <laughs> <laughs> if you bug us on election day, we will drone you. Yeah. So and, and then again, it also depends on your party affiliation. See, if, oh. if if you are a Republican, then Corona will come get you, uh, oh, because you sure you you don't you don't you know match up to to the Democratic standards. And if you're a Democrat, 
uh, then, then you're you're safe and secure, locked in your home and cowering, as as a good citizen should be doing. But wait, I thought the Republicans had God on their side. Well, they do. That's a mean God, Grimnir. It, it is. It is a mean God, of course. Even with uh, the Republicans having God on their side, apparently some person won a uh, primary election for, I forget what position it was for, uh, in some central portion of the United States. Uh, and that person is a, what do they call it? A transsexual Satanist <laughs> anarchist. Transsexual <laughs> Satanist anarchist that won a GOP primary somewhere. See, uh, they got God on their side and all the other angels, <laughs> right? Yeah, apparently, yeah, because cause they're a Satanist and Satan was an angel, right? Well, Satanists and, and Christians are the same. They believe in the same. Sure, but I, I'm just saying, you know, Satan yeah. Satan was, was the angel. He was Lucifer, right? That's the... Uh, Oh, yeah, Keene, yeah. in Keene, New Hampshire. Well, that figures, Kate. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? That's like, so what? That's, is that particularly transsexual or particularly Satanistic or particularly... Um, Par particularly libertarian. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, they are... Um, I, don't, I don't know if you ever heard of Pork Fest, uh, which is Porcupine Fest, not pork like pig. Um, <laughs> and they, they hold this big gathering of libertarians every, uh, every year up there. And they were going to try and make these, I don't know how long ago this started, but they were going to try and make uh, New Hampshire uh, the, the libertarian state. Of course that didn't go over because they got a bunch of the old school folks up there. Uh, old libertarians. Those are the people who believe that, uh, the constitution will somehow make them free, right? Yes, uh, I don't know. Maybe they're 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 more of they're more of basically. I leave you alone. You leave me alone. You don't harm any of my stuff. You, you know, it's it's a pretty good philosophy. Although that's not really. Uh, so they're not sovereign citizens. <laughs> well, I'm sure there are some. I shouldn't people, laugh at that. I'm no, sorry. I'm sure there are plenty of people within the libertarian. I don't know what you want to call it. I, I hate to call it a movement, uh, the libertarian mindset. How about that? Uh, yes. So there's plenty of probably lots of people within the libertarian mindset that consider themselves to be sovereign citizens. Although, um, right, it's an oxymoron, Moose Girl. <laughs> you can't be a citizen and be sovereign. It, just, it doesn't work together. However, nope. the FBI says... There's a sovereign citizen movement, and these people are terrorists. Because... Yeah, we got those here too. Yeah, yeah, they they uh, they don't want to wear a license plate on their car, and for that they're a very scary enemy, and we should really all you know. Right? Yeah, they're they're not bowing down and licking the boot of. No, no, no! You're insane. Those are the most you know dangerous and scary people. Yeah, no license plate on the car, Everything no driver's <laughs> license. Don't pay no taxes. Uh, all the or all the things that a normal free person would should be able to do. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Last time we had an election here, I had fun with those uh, campaign people, right? I don't know where you are, but where I live, they stand around doing that campaign. They stand around and give you out these little flyers, and I like the flyers because um, they're very good at rolling spliffs on, right? Oh, yeah, terrific. <laughs> so I, I talk to these people, right? And I go up to the Conservative People's Party, which is the fifth biggest party in Denmark and uh, one of the oldest, and they're like the conservatives, right? Yeah. And they got posters that says, uh, "Protect, we will protect the Danish people from uh, gangs of thieves, right? Okay. And they had all this campaign about gangs of thieves, that they will protect us from, right? So I walk up to them and I get my flyers because I like getting flyers, and I start talking to them and I say, "Well, you know, I, I, you know, I, I can really support your 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 poster there because uh, we've got this one gang, right? That's just stealing, like you know, every every month, right? They threaten me, 
sure. and my employer, right? Yeah. To give up, uh, like, you know, forty something percent of everything that I made that month. And if we don't do it, they're going to kidnap us and uh, and they threaten us with violence. And so it's really nice to hear some people who's going to do something about that. And I know where they are. I can show you where their headquarters is, right? It's right down in Copenhagen. I'll show you where their headquarters is. And it's not just me they're threatening. They're threatening a lot of people, everybody. Right. Everybody they're threatening, right? Mm-hmm. And they just look at me like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> not that gang. That gang of thieves uh, is good. <laughs> yeah, and I go, well, you know, you met them. I bet they threaten you too, don't they? And she was like, well, we we meant more like Eastern European um, gangs and thieves. Uh, from Serbians. Thieves from, Those know, damn Poland. Serbians. Yes, you know, from Poland and stuff. And I was like, well, I've never been robbed by those people. Never even met them. But the other ones, like every month, and they was like, okay, you can go away now, lady. <laughs> they, they were not listening to me. But I got my flyers, though. And you made your point. And I have fun during elections. Yeah, 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 yeah. You made your point to those people that don't realize what huge hypocrites they actually are. No. I invited a whole bunch of from the Green Party, right? The Green Party who is all about nature and preserving nature. Um, and they were handing out flyers. <laughs> and, and, and you know what cracked me up, and I, I didn't mention it at the time, but uh, you said it's the Conservative People's Party, right? Yeah, that was the ones I met with the text people that I yeah, yeah. wanted so to you, go you know, that, that immediately reminded of Mo, I me mean, of Monty Python, uh, The Life of Brian. The Judea, Judean People's Party. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> yeah. they're, Everything they're all, in Denmark is People's Party. <laughs> and they're all they're all sitting out on the steps there talking about the about the parties and arguing yeah. over a shoe. <laughs> yeah. But I invited all those uh polit- all those people campaigning for the Green Party who were handing out flyers, right? Uh-huh. I invited them. Well then when this is over, we meet down here next Saturday and you and us, you know, we go to the woods and we you know, pick up all the flyers people threw because you've been handing them out. How about you come help me clean up your mess? And yeah. they also, went, oh no, I got something else to do that Saturday now. Yeah, yeah okay. So, so the uh, the green people, green people, oh, uh, well, the green party <laughs> people, <laughs> the green the green people's party that would be for like Greta, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the ones who you know are all about taxing. Taxes on every kind of um, use you're going to do or consumption as a human being. They just want to tax. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, because um, you know, the environment understands taxes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you pay enough, you pay enough, your, your carbon output, uh, it, it doesn't matter what your carbon output is as long as you pay the proper money to people that, are going to use it to do what now? Um, But that's because every political plan in an election, Grimnir, is like the sock gnomes from South Park. You remember the sock gnomes? Oh, absolutely. You have... You know, step one. (laughs) Obtain obtain socks. Step two, we don't know. Step three, profit. (laughs) Yes. There you go. That's, that's, That's how every political plan is written. That's what every election is built on. That's what... Every hope that anybody musters into the act of voting they rely on is step two, question mark, step three, profit. Right. Yep, yep. That, that's it. We, we don't know how we're, how we're going to get from, from stealing everything to profit, but there, there's, <laughs> no. some, there's some magic stuff going on there in the middle. Yep. Hey there, Vinny. <laughs> and uh, whoopty, presto, here we are. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> and that is what people are voting for. And what they're, the difference, who they're voting for, is how you define step one. Right. How yeah. much can you steal from? Who can you steal? Who are you supposed to steal from? And in what way can you steal? And how will, it, how will that benefit you? Yes. Because and how do we divide profit in step three? <laughs> they, they, None of them got step two covered. <laughs> their theft will benefit you somehow. Yeah. We don't know. Or well, them. Or, or them. it'll benefit you if you vote for them. 
It won't, it well, won't. in Denmark, it's it can be that if my vote will benefit this other group that I, you know, really want to benefit. That's what people vote for in Denmark, though. Well, that, that's all. It's always self-interest. That's 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 always what voting is about. Is is yeah, the, the guilt of privilege, though, right? Uh, explain that. Uh, the reason why Denmark has a big uh, welfare state is mainly because nobody here likes to see people poor or broken down or uh, desperate in the streets. Okay. So from that guilt of you not being that one and that compassion in that, we built a giant welfare state. Now, now prior... The whole, the whole, the whole um, aim of the Danish welfare state is to make sure that every kid grows up with equal opportunity. No matter what their parents are doing or not doing, no matter what parents made up by mistakes, we want to create equal opportunity for all kids. And in that, then you got to have high uh, welfare checks for their parents. You got to make it, you know. Okay. Now, prior prior to Denmark rolling in this welfare state, mm. but um, I don't know how long has that been in place. Since the was well, started in the thirties, really. That long, okay. But um, slowly, right? All right, so prior to that, did... And it did, got really big in the 70s, 60s, 70s. Right, uh, okay, prior, prior to that, did you have charitable organizations that helped people that were down on their luck in some manner? Yes, but and, they were very related to church, right? And And Denmark is not very religious, and the church doesn't have a lot of money. People here are not very religious. So it used to be the churches who took care of the poor. Right. And when the churches stopped collecting and they didn't, then that's when you started seeing state take over. Now, why did the churches stop collecting? Because people didn't no longer support the church. Oh, okay. <laughs> people are not very religious here. See, this is what you and me, we just, you know, back to, we can take the circumcision. I know it's a bad topic for people, especially in America, but here I come from where 80% of the Danish population think that circumcision is horrible mutilation of small boys. And and it, and it more or less is. Um, I, I don't, I don't really see circumcision as a bad topic, but, um, I, I mean, we see it as a barbaric act that comes from the ignorance of religion. Okay, well, uh, and that's all good and fine, but I, but but I mean, um, this other thing that you said this morning in the chat there that until they're eighteen years old, which means they're legally an adult uh, within the confines of the rules of the government. There, which yes. is kind of ridiculous, is it's it's such an arbitrary number. I don't know how any. I mean, you know, it's eighteen here too. Is supposedly you're an adult at that point, although you're not really an adult at that point. Um, and depending on what it is, like if you commit a crime when you're fourteen, they can still mm-hmm. say, "Well, we're as as far as the legal system goes, you're an adult, and we're going to put you in an adult prison." But well, if you but legal if, age is fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> for for prison. Yeah. Right. But if you want to go out and get a drink, you got to be 21 to be an no. adult uh or you know a number of other things. Uh if yeah. you want if you want to, you know, I, I don't know whatever. But 18 You can't drive a car here until you're 18. I think it's 16 here in most places. Yeah. Or 15 and a half with a permit. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, they they apply these arbitrary numbers to things which have nothing to do with the ability of the individual person to to be able to do one thing or another. I mean, at at you know twenty one, there's plenty of people that couldn't handle alcohol, but they're allowed to at that point. Uh, but there's also yeah. plenty of people that can handle alcohol just fine at fifteen, but they're not allowed to. Uh, so okay, so now. You can't have your penis top skin cut off uh, until you become 18, which is legal. And adult, oh, which also I think 18 is the voting age but here. Really? Yeah, the voting age too. Yeah. But really, I think mo- how I see it and how I know most people see it is that you can't do that. You cannot chop somebody else's penis off. 
Well, you're not chopping their penis off. You can't (laughs) snip off the tip either because it's not your choice to make. Right, right. And it's not your act. And besides, the reason why it comes out of Denmark right now is that, first of all, if if 50,000 people sign a petition in Denmark saying we want the government to treat this, they have to. Okay, so so and we, more than fifty thousand people signed. We have a union here called the Intec Denmark, which is a union for um, people who are either circumcised and feel really bad about it and didn't want it to be done, or are protecting their kids from from pressure or their family taking them and and cutting them. And they came out and says we really want them, you know, the government to treat this. Because it's illegal for women, it's legal to circumcise a girl, but it's not illegal to do it with a boy. So they are also saying, what happened to equality? We have equality of genders, right? Yeah. So they did but that. The, the, people, a lot of people signed it, and now they're treating it. And then they had this big board of doctors who were supposed to bring their knowledge about circumcision. And the knowledge they brought on was that it's horrible to the baby. The pain is insane and the only way that you can cover that pain is through full anesthesia what do you say when you're full knocked out and they also said that a doctor only doctors should do that and they should be under full um, narcotics whatever in deep sleep right do do you have a, a freedom of religion type thing there we have a freedom of religion we don't have equality of religion okay so, but we have freedom of religion, but your your religious uh, tradition shouldn't impose on a little um, kid or a little child's right to be intact. That's what people are saying to the government, that we wanted you to treat that. And then this board of doctors, they walked out of the the process because they said the politicians are not listening to us. They want us to to... Uh, reach the conclusion that it's just a small thing; it won't matter because they don't want to. Um, they don't want to deal with the blowback from America and Israel, right? Yeah, uh, which is understandable. Yeah, and the Danish Jews. Well, it's it should be simple enough. The doctor himself, mm-hmm. assuming it's a doctor performing the circumcision, it is not. It is not in Denmark. Okay, and they are not even being pain treated. These small kids. Okay, because, I, I mean, if it was the doctors, they could just refuse to do them. Yeah, but now it, in Denmark, it's a re- ritual, religious practice. So there are no doctors, and that's what the doctor's saying, that this shouldn't, you know, it's painful. It's well, painful I understand, in, uh, I understand for Jews, it's the rabbi that does it, right? Mm-hmm. But and for who, Muslims, it's, uh, it's an imam of some sort. Okay, and what about for... Uh, what would you call them, Christian religions? Uh, as far as I con- know, that the only ones who circumcise their kids, uh, their baby boys in Denmark, are Jews and Muslims. Oh, okay. Because I, I was baptized as a Catholic uh, before mm-hmm. I remember, apparently, I'm told. <laughs> but I was still mm-hmm. circumcised, um, and, and I think it was done at a hospital. I don't know. I don't, you know, I, I was, you know, it was before... I could speak or walk or anything. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I had I couldn't say no. Um, don't don't be cutting you know part of my penis off. Thank you very much. Um, and that's what this is about. They want pe- they want to give the little boys the same chance to say no. Okay. Well, I um. But the government treated it. The doctors walked out. Right. Yeah. They didn't want to take part of it. They felt pressured into concluding that it was a no nothing, and they really didn't think that. So they walked out and said, we can't be in this. Uh, the government treated it on, and they reached a conclusion that uh, because of Hitler, um, this is a topic we shouldn't even discuss no further. So because and Hitler... We should all, and we should all, um, yeah, because of Hitler. Because he didn't yeah. like Jews, and he, and he persecuted yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. So because of that, uh, we should just, you know, walk away from this topic. Okay. And people aren't really walking away. So they're looking at uh, our young female prime minister, 
who um, said uh, in her campaign that she would be there for the children. Okay, now, and and, and what about this? Say, well, okay. well, well, what about this? Okay, suppose, okay, you guys go ahead and, and make it illegal to do circumcisions on children without their consent or before the age of 18. But uh, but a parent or parents feel very strongly about having this done to their children. They could yes. just cross over the border, right, and have it done there. Yeah, yeah. So what's the point? Well, that's... <laughs> people want to say don't do you know what's the point of any law it's like saying yeah we don't well, like I, this i agree what is the point of any law um, <laughs> yeah, we but, don't like this that's what a point of a law is we don't like this don't do this yeah yeah okay i don't know i i find it funny right because uh you got a whole people saying come on lady so, save the little now back back to boy. the back to the original topic Voting Election. voting works, yeah. but for who? Mm. Um, do they do the people get to vote on the law making circumcision illegal for no. somebody? No. no, no. We have representative democracy. <laughs> Are they representing you? Do you feel represented? No, I didn't vote for any of these people, and no, they're not representing <laughs> me. They're a bunch of thieving, <laughs> fucking stealing, losing <laughs> killers. Are you not? Yeah. So voting Come works on. for them. Yeah. How how do you stop uh, torturing little baby infants? Do you think a law is going to stop that? No, no. Like I just said, you know, if these people feel strongly about having this ritual done uh, or operation, depending on who you are and what you <laughs> consider it, um, then they're going to have it done one way or the other. It's, it's, it's like no, the, what you do is you walk up to people who's just before they're going to torture a little baby infant boy and you slap them and say, what are you doing? Stop that. Don't, don't what, cut in a little healthy baby boy. Are you nuts? <laughs> yeah. Right. On, don't sell that shit to Hollywood, man, so they can make their lotions and everything. It's, just, it's, it's insane. Apparently, uh uh, duh, yeah. duh, just posted a link there. Baby yeah, yeah. baby foreskin facial is a real thing. Which yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. That's you know, that's pretty much how you end that is just people go, Hey, stop it. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I think if the at least if she said we we can see it's a violation, then a lot of the little baby boys could sue their parents for doing this to them, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, already in the in this show, although we hadn't brought it up, uh, the, a couple of the other topics that you've already brought that you suggested earlier this morning, uh, what is up with making stuff legal? Yeah, legal and, is a fun thing, though. Yeah, it, it is, a fun, and 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 in the old times, it was not a crime. Um, when you grew up, Grimnir, did, did they have legal things? Oh, absolutely. They've had legal things since the beginning of, you know, whenever they... I'm pretty sure. When I grew up, there were stuff, and then there were illegal stuff, right? There was a list of things you couldn't do. Right. And then all the other stuff, right? Right. Now we have a list of things we can do. <laughs> Which is a very, very short list. Um, <laughs> in comparison, but yeah, no, I mean, uh, uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, you didn't have to like, uh, people didn't used to consider, well, can I do this? It was like, well, it's, yeah. nobody said right. I can't do it. So I'm doing it now. It's yeah. nobody said I can do it. So I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely, um, gotten far, far more to the tyrannical side, uh, where, there's a short list of things that that you are allowed allowed to do under their system, and unless they say specifically you're allowed to do this, then exactly. then you're not allowed to do it. Uh, yeah. Because an illegal and legal means the same, though, right? Under control of the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which would not not even actually law, but just code, because. Yeah. Uh, under control. Boom. Under control, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, when I was a kid, and it, I don't know 
if it was legal or not. I never asked anybody, but we used to go fishing, um, and we didn't have licenses or permits or fish stamps or any of that crap that you have to have now. Um, yeah. and, and maybe it was because we were kids we were allowed to do it. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I never, I never really asked anybody at that point in time. And then way back there in, you know, the sixties and seventies, uh, you know, prehistory of time, um, yeah. ancient days before you were born mm -hmm. or thought of, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for those of you that don't know, circle is much younger than I am. <laughs> Just, you know. You know, 20 years, right? Yeah, 20 years. What's yeah. 20 years? The really boring 20 years where I wasn't here. <laughs> that, yeah, exactly. And, and, the, and the next 20 odd years is where I'd never heard of you. Right. <laughs> Until you, life was incomplete. Um, oh. <laughs> yes. oh. But, oh, okay, one thing we know about voting Grimnir, though. Yes. Everybody who votes, they get exactly what they vote for. Everybody who votes, they always win. It doesn't okay. matter. If you vote for a president, you're going to get a president. If you vote for a prime minister, you're going to get a prime minister. If you vote for a law, you're going to get a law. Right. Might not be the the one you voted for, but you're still going to get it. You voted for a president, you're going to get a president. Right. And I, I, mean, I, I always point out, voting is violence. You yes. are voting to impose by violent means your beliefs upon some uh, everybody else. Uh, yes. As they said on some other person, but upon everybody else. Uh, uh, because you want them to say, this you can do, and this you can't do. And if you're doing what you can't do, well, we're going to send some people out there to straighten you out. Or we may lock you in a cage. We may kill you. It all depends on what level of resistance uh, you you put it's, up. So, and that could be and anything. Now, that could be anything. You could and be, now they're just you know because I see that in your country and the same in my country. You're not even voting for concrete things no more. Mm -hmm. It's like all this value shit. You're voting for slogans, and the same as we are, they're voting for slogans and values and and fluffy shit and colors and, and <laughs> you know shapes. Yeah. yeah. And you go, what? What are you even? What even the difference? Because if you want to know what the politicians' uh, project is, just take out all the shit they disagree about. Just filter that shit out and go right to what they agree on. And then whatever their project is will be really shiny clear to you once you do that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's all the shit that they oppose each other. That's just the smoke screen, right? Right. Because here, as we started out, Denmark is a monarchy. And you can put democratic in front of it all you want. And it was just going to be a smoke screen. Sure. That's 179 seats, creating theater so that I don't see that there is a queen who owns everything. On their papers, she owns everything. Right. And the same with you. You have all these houses and senates, and I can't even figure out the American system. It's so complicated because you're so damn big, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people. How many houses you got? Just, just two. Just there, two houses. There's the Senate and the House of Representatives. And those two okay. together make up what's called the Congress. And that, 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 that is the legislative branch of the United States government. There's three branches, which is the executive, which is basically the president and all of his mm. committees that he puts together. Uh, and he gets to do certain things. And not everything, but he gets to do certain things. Or he or she, I should say. Um, <laughs> and, and then there's the, the the legislative, which is the two houses of Congress, the the Senate and the House of Representatives, and they basically control making the laws and uh, del delving out the money, uh, the Senate, which is supposed to all be the House of Representatives handing out the money, and the, the Senate, they consider the upper body of the two bodies of Congress, uh, and then and then there's the judicial, which is the Supreme Court. Those, those and that's supposed to be there's supposed to be checks and balances against each other. 
But they're politicized completely. Absolutely. To 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 the nth degree, whatever the N is. Um <laughs> the, the the whole I mean uh, the 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 Supreme Court should never be politicized, and and they they should it should be very clear. Yeah, but you, now you have well, you got your conservative judges, you got your your liberal judges, and and depending on who's there as the, as the president, they get to pick uh, whichever the next judge go is, and and what a judge is picked, the Supreme Court justice is picked. It's a lifetime thing. They get to be there until they freaking die. Uh, there, there's there's no election for them. There's a uh, the Senate gets to say yay or nay on on mm. whether or not that uh, and not the House of Representatives left out of it, but <laughs> but but the, but the Senate uh, gets to pick who if that person that the president decided on um, uh, is is going to be put in in there in the Supreme Court or not. Now this whole thing of 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 uh, a lifetime uh, appointment, to, 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 it's insane. It's it's totally insane. That, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. and and you, you, these people, you know, like this one that just died, this this Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who was like a thousand years old, and 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 she's in there, and and now that she's dead, and they're all. Uh, you know, up in arms, the, the, depending on which side you look at, uh, the, the, the Democrats are all, up, oh, you can't put a new one in there. You have to wait until after the election, so our guy will put a new one in there. And the other ones are saying, we can, we control the Senate. We're going to do whatever we want. <laughs> but how, how is that running a country, though? It sounds more like a war game, doesn't it? Pretty much, yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle. You know, tag, and we want this position, and now it's blue team, and now red team will have it. It's like baseball, though, isn't it? I, I guess, I guess, or or roller derby, maybe more like roller derby. <laughs> <laughs> you go around, got your jammers and your blockers, and <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's 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 yeah. it's. I mean, it's really ridiculous and hilarious looking at it from the outside, and. I consider myself I to be. Know. I think it's funny. I can understand if you're voting to preserve things, right? Well, this is what we have. I like this kind of system. I'm going to keep voting because I'm, I'm liking it. So I get more and more. Every time we vote, I get more and more of this system, right? Yeah. That would be a logic. So I, if I like this, I'm going to continue voting for this because it's really neat, right? Right. But I don't understand the other side, though. Where this is really fucked up, I'm gonna vote. <laughs> I'm gonna do some more in this system that I think is really fucked up, and I don't like the results it's getting me. So I'm gonna keep using this system to try to get a different result. Darn it! And if I'm just, you know, persistent enough, um, somehow keep doing the same will get me a different result. That I don't understand. No, and that that is the definition of insanity, of course. Yeah, it's to keep repeating the same action and expecting a different result. Well, because but, the the logic of it for every election there's been in America, and the same in Denmark for every election for a government that was in Denmark to uh, state grew. Right, it always grows. It more and more, grows. more power. You, know, yeah. you, you got the Republicans, which are supposedly the party yeah. of small government. But everything they do expands government, government's power, and, yeah. and, and then you got the, the the Democrats, which are supposed to be the state should have control of everything, and because they know better how to run your life than you do, which yeah. is confusing to me. I don't really understand how <laughs> how people back that idea, but apparently at least half of the people do. Um, <laughs> so, so every time we repeat the ritual, right? Yeah, we have growth. Of this beast, right? Right. And and for some reason, the, there are people out there who doesn't like the beast, but their answer to it is, you know, keep doing the ritual. Right. Keep participating in this thing, uh, and and pretend, believe, I guess, um, that that now that I got this new guy, it's all gonna be different. <laughs> yes, so if we just step one, <laughs> collect socks, <laughs> step or, two, question mark, and three, we will profit and win, and it will all be perfect. And, you know, 
It's it's like they, like they never heard that Who song, won't be fooled again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meet the old boss, same as the old boss. <laughs> exactly. Only fatter, right? Uh well. Because he gets fat every time they eat. What every time they eat up one administration, they get a little fatter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then they argue over all kinds of different stuff, and and you're supposed to. But if you look at ninety percent of which uh, which either party is saying that they want to do or will do or are doing, it's the same as the other side. And you have this tiny little section in the middle that is what they get get people arguing over, uh, whether that's you know the abortion thing or border control or uh, yeah. equality or all. You got these minor little things that that they get everybody the hundred percent of the people uh, those that vote um arguing over and deciding that because of these couple little things all the rest of the stuff all the wars all the theft by by taxes all, all the all the trade agreements or those kind of things none of none of those things matter because they're they're the same exactly on the both sides quote unquote sides <laughs> so, yep. uh, so you got this tiny little little grouping of of issues uh, that you, that you're supposed to uh, whine and complain over issues that probably aren't even going to affect most of the people that are voting. In uh, 1973, a uh, guy in Denmark he um, broke out of the, his own political party and he went on a political campaign for the election of 1973, where he. Uh, he went on a rampage, and he uh, he said taxes is uh, treason to your country. Paying taxes is treason. Everybody who loves their country should stop it right away. Uh, there will only be one minister and one department in my government. It will be the minister of the abomination of state. And did they kill him right away? Or and I will I will be the uh, the minister of that ministry. And from day <laughs> one, we will just demolish state. Uh, the entire Danish uh, um, defense will be a record playing when you call us that will, in American and Russian, say we surrender. Uh, <laughs> and yes, he had a landslide. He won like 17 of uh, of those uh, seats. And he stayed in politics for, you know, until they threw him in prison for not paying taxes. Uh, all right. And he was, he was the prime minister. And he didn't pay taxes, and so he. Well, he wasn't the prime minister. He oh. said, "If I, if I, if all, if I get, if I get all the seats, and you all vote for me, there will only be one ministry. I, there will be no prime minister. There will be no foreign minister. There will only be one ministry, the ministry of demo, of demolishing the state." But he didn't get all the votes. He got like seventeen out of the one hundred seventy-nine. So he did get a lot of votes. Okay, so so you still had a still had a prime minister above him. Yeah, yeah, he didn't get to do any of the fun stuff, and then they just started trash talking him and eating him up and throwing him in prison for a tax evasion, right? <laughs> God, I'm surprised they didn't just kill him right away when he was campaigning on those kind of things. But, no, people uh, loved him. Man. No, people, uh, people him. did, people did, but the state didn't. No. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're out of time. Um, <laughs> I think I would vote for you as the minister of uh, state demolishing. I'd be very good at state demolishing if they if they didn't kill me. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, we'll, we'll 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 be back again next week with another episode of It's All Connected. Uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in, uh, and uh, tomorrow on uh, RLM Radio at. 3 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S., uh, <laughs> you have Flash somebody, hopefully, uh, doing his show on his birthday. Happy birthday, Flash! That's tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, have, happy birthday, Flash. Uh, so uh, he'll be on tomorrow doing his uh, show in a perfect world. It's always Flash's birthday in a perfect world. Um, <laughs> just ask him. <laughs> anyway, check Every the, day is Flash Day. Check, check, check the schedule on Real Liberty Media dot com or rlmradio.xyz and y'all have yourselves a wonderful day evening night wherever you are uh and uh thanks for and, and don't cut into little babies don't cut into little babies and stay away from people yeah and and, and go vote <laughs> don't don't do that <laughs> <All right. laughs> peace